This is Matt for Boxing Social in association with William Hill and Empire Fights. So I'm delighted to be joined by world champion Ebony Bridges. Ebony, I feel like it's been a while, but you're here sporting Stevie Levy. I know you get behind and you're sponsoring her for this fight. Pleased to see her. She's progressing nicely. Excited? Yeah, I'm super excited, actually. She looks great. She's done her wake up good this time. She's um, she's done really well, so she feels great. She's really confident. She hasn't had to do a hard cut, so I'm really excited seeing her in there. How much of a buzz do you get giving back? Because obviously this is, um, it's actually got quite a big event feel for a small hall show, these GBM shows, yeah. but how much do you get off giving back to someone like Stevie? Because you've obviously got a big platform, you can get sponsors and things like that, but for people starting from the ground up, it's very difficult. So how much of a buzz do you get off giving back to these type of fighters and people you get on with? Yeah, obviously a mad buzz. Like I just remember what it was like when I started out and it was so hard to get sponsors because you don't really have a name and you know, you're not really like, break on the bigger horse shows or on TV so you know it's kind of hard to sell yourself and you're just like you're just kind of relying on friends or, or like you know businesses that just want to be actually invest in just you rather than wanting more from you because you know at this level you can't really give much at the moment but I just remember what that's like and you know obviously I have the means so of course my you know my best friends that are there for me I want to look after them I want to help them because I remember what it's like to be there you know you never forget where you came from and and I think that's really really important and I'm blessed that I'm able to help them and watch them I love going and watching her succeed and do well well and know that I'm part of like being able to help her achieve those goals. 100%. She's, um, she's quite similar to you in, in many ways, Stevie. She's, uh, I mean, in personality, she's yeah. quite quite chatty. Is that what yeah. sort of drew you to, towards her? Because she she will say what she wants, kind of thing, yeah. quite like you. Yeah, definitely. No, just, you know, we're obviously we are very similar. She's um, very evanescent, you know, and I just love her person. I love her, you know, I always encourage her to be herself and like just, you know, be you and um, I love that she is and um, it's great. It's, she's raw as and, and it's exciting and it's entertaining and I love it, yeah. Well, look, let's come on to you now. Big news, you've announced that you're training with Dave Caldwell here up north. I know, I think in your mind, I don't know if we spoke about it however long ago now, your, your heart's always been up north, yeah. you support Leeds, and eventually I think it was going to be something you were going to look to do. But Dave Caldwell, first off, let's talk about Dave. Why Dave Caldwell? You know, he was obviously recommended to me by so many people. Like, everyone recommended him, and with a few others, and, you know, because um, people know what I like and, I suppose, my style. And also, I'm, like, a big thinker. I'm an analyst, and I'm, I like like meticulous and like detail you know when they said obviously he's, you know like he's also how he is with the gym you know the small tight knit like family oriented kind of gym if you know what I mean which is I love that because I you know I'm personable and I love feel like my gym is like my family you know my coach is like my dad kind of thing so I went up there um, and I trained with him and I was just blown away with his knowledge and just how um, you know how on it he is like you know constantly watching and constantly p picking up things and I like to I want to improve and I want to be taught and I want to learn so it was just yeah it was great I was like this is what I need you you know, I need someone like this going to like, you know, um, tell me everything that I need to do, um, not kind of cheerlead, you know, so it was really good, it was good. I think it's important to touch on as well, you've had a lot of success when you came over, when you moved your whole life to this country, obviously Mark Tibbs took you on, you were his first female as well and you managed to achieve a world title with him. Um, you've left on good terms by all accounts and you just talk about that spell you had with Mark, cause it's a big part of your career. Yeah, most definitely, you know, I'll be forever grateful for Mark Tibbs. Um, you know, he took me in, he took a chance on me, you know, he's got to, again, as they all do when they're training a girl for the first time, oh God, we got to train a girl, oh, and like he's very old school. So, you know, he took the chance on me, you know, but I obviously, you know, um, proved myself and and I worked really hard and um, we had a you know great team, you know, I learned a lot and we won that world title and obviously defended it well as well. Um, you know, and I think we have a great relationship, we're gonna continue having a great relationship, you know, he's still gonna be in my corner and support me. And you know, I was his first world champion and his first female, so I think you know we're always gonna have a bit of a bond there. But you know, um, I have to do what I feel right in my heart to do and you know, for me I wanted to move up north and it's just too much travelling and um, yeah, it's just you know, it came time and every you know, I've made a lot of decisions in my life and I've moved around a lot for boxing and and whatever decision I make it's it's always turned out great and it's always been out for the right reason so I'm never I never like oh this is bad I'm like if my heart says to do it then there must be a reason for me to change and move so I feel it's the right thing for me to do and I'm really looking forward to you know my next steps yeah, it's gonna be a new chapter with Dave um, any update on your fight I know everyone sort of keeps honing in on what's gonna be next now and I'm sure yeah. you're getting fed up because I know yeah. you've been talking about look been out a while want a voluntary kind of thing yeah. you had your surgery to your hand yeah. we got any news pending yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I had a uh, meeting with Eddie the other week and he said August, so I'm out in August. Um, I'm just looking for an opponent, um, you know, and yeah, obviously it's, um, you know, I just had my mandatory, got forced to do my mandatory straight after my world title. Just had hand surgery six months out. So yeah, I'm looking for, you know, just a, um, a fight to come back with and then, you know, whatever happens after that, we'll talk about that. I know you've been very vocal about what you want to do and the goals you know I remember when you won the belt we interviewed like a couple of weeks after and you were like yeah, it's all right I've won it but now 
the goals have yeah. changed kind of thing. You already switched over and were like, yes, unification's under dispute. Day. <laughs> like a day after a day, that feeling had worn off and it's like, fuck, let's just move on. So yeah, yeah. Um, that's still much in your mind, unification's all, Most some big, big fights out there for you. And obviously now you're with Dave, new trainer, and you're progressing all the time. Yeah that's still your plan? Of course, most definitely, you know. Um, obviously changing my whole life, you know, like as in moving up north and getting a new trainer or just in coming up from a surgery and injury. Um, you know, I have a lot of adaptations to do over the next, you know, August is eight weeks away or whatever. So a lot of adaptation is to be doing. Um, so yeah, after I get this fight out of the way, then yeah, definitely be chasing my goals and what I want to do. And, you know, um, having those unifications and having big money fights, you know, money talks as well. So, you know, and I, you know, I hate to say it, but I seem to be a bit of the boss of the division because everyone wants to fight me, you know, what I mean like and, and even people not in my division everyone else calling me out from every other division like it's just like it's always been like that but it's been three years of that <laughs> I have to say ever since you've come over and you had the, the fight with Shannon and people understood a bit more how, how you fight you've been someone's someone's calling you out somewhere and the, <laughs> I know um, I think Shannon was supposed to fight um, Nina but that yep. fell through Nina's obviously done her thing got the victory over you know, Kate Healy and a great performance Nina Hughes on your radar then as soon as you get this next one out the way kind of thing yeah of course Nina Hughes is on my radar she has a belt so you know I will be fighting her and it's obviously an easy fight to make and I respect Nina a lot you know um, but getting this fight out of the way and then we can talk absolutely well look I'll we'll keep you for too much longer so I appreciate you talking to Boxing Social as always I'm going to let you go and go support Stevie now because I think she's on short, so yeah. I appreciate it and we'll catch up again soon. Oh, good. Thank you. Thanks, guys.